Hi there, my name is Heather Ford and I work for the School of Media and Communication at the University of Leeds. I'm really sorry that I can't be there with you today. Uh, it looks like the workshop's going to be really exciting and produce some really great, valuable results that I hope to be working with you on in the coming weeks. So today I'm going to give you a really brief talk based on some of the experience that I've had coordinating and facilitating workshops for the Wikimedia Foundation that host Wikipedia and other NGOs like Tactical Tech who run week-long open source camps. I worked for NGOs for about nine years before I went back to academia and now one of the research focuses that I have is on some of the unintended consequences of the kinds of things that we measure um, and the kind of measurement mania that we're currently living through. So I have a practical, both a practical and a skeptical approach to the concept of measurement. Now my focus today is going to be on measure, um, on measuring is about what we measure and what we can measure beyond those things that are easiest to measure. And I'll give you one example. In the early days of Wikipedia, one of the things that we measured or focused on measuring is the number of edits that editors who edit Wikipedia conduct after they have gone through their one day training as part of an editathon. editathon. So that's, um, we used to look at how many edits those editors make after the period of learning has, has taken place. Now that was a really easy way of measuring but it turned out it actually left out a lot of the types of things that we could have been measured measuring and it also focused on editing as opposed to all the other kind of volunteer work that goes into being a Wikipedian. So people who, after they'd attended an editathon, then went and taught others how to edit Wikipedia or who organized other events to support Wikipedia weren't actually captured in that kind of measurement. And also those who didn't end up carrying on um, editing. We didn't, we weren't able to actually understand how those or why those editors didn't carry on editing. So that's an example. To start off, I just wanted to briefly um, discuss what I'm talking about when I talk about um, these workshops in particular. So hackathons, editathons, that are the Wikipedia events, and the source camps that I participated in. And the thing that they share is that they're brief, a brief period of intense collaboration among usually dispersed individuals. So a collaboration or learning among um, dispersed individuals. And the important thing to note about these new kinds of events that are really popular, especially in the technology sector, is that co-location offers enormous benefits that are really important to actually consider when we're measuring. And three of those include um, the development of durable social ties that exist after the event, the development of trust among people that is really essential often for learning, and the access to situated knowledge that is really important when we're trying to learn practical skills. But there are challenges, and one of those is brevity. So it's really difficult for us to um, continue that learning when we've had such a short period of time together. Now, a word about measurement. Measurement holds significant benefits. It obviously enables the future improvement of the course or curriculum for facilitators. And it's also important for accountability. So people who give us money to fund these kinds of development activities really want to know that it's actually being used for and is producing the kinds of results that were predicted. But with great measurement comes great responsibility. And what we measure becomes what we, as stakeholders, end up prioritizing. This has been shown throughout history. 
that we end up focusing on those things that we do end up measuring. And then importantly, what we measure sometimes is what's easy to measure, as we gave in that Wikipedia example, or what's directly related to our project rather than what the desired outcomes are for learners. And some of the research that has been conducted, for example, shows that some of some really important learning actually can happen beyond the hackathon, for example, um, among different projects. So people might not work on that particular project that they worked on during the event, but they actually end up learning a great deal through that connection that they established during the event. Now, just three takeaways from what I've said today. First is to consider outcomes beyond the immediate skills that can be learned on site. And importantly, this is about the development of social ties that can maybe help those individuals in the future learning together outside of that co-located space. The second is to consider ways of measuring such outcomes, and that might be in terms of longer term measurement, where we poll people or interview people months after the event, not just directly after the event. And then finally, to keep measurement flexible and open to learners themselves, so to, to develop perhaps a long-term community of learners who are invested in future learners. And those learners can help um, facilitators in trying to understand what the desired outcomes are and in turn what we should end, end up measuring. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your time there today. Bye-bye.